Hello, welcome to freexcellearn.com. It is my number 13 Excel video tutorial. Here I will show you how a dynamic user form with list box is used to send data to Excel sheet. I already discuss this type of task on my tutorial number 12 but it was not dynamic so I am discuss about how can you use this control dynamically okay let's go for the task just click on here show checkbox you see that there is three, four, five, five item. There is also five control: Mola, Dhala, Isha, Pabda, and Rui. If you close it and write another ma fish name like Putty Fish, okay, and click on check box then there is add another control and that is putty fish on the same way if you delete some of there and click on show check box then it will show you two controls mola and dela fish okay and on the same way i on my last tutorial i see you how this data is save on column a just see just see and if you add something like hill fish then you may send data here okay so actually now i am going to show you how you write the code dynamically to show here that means user form one so let's go for see the code and for this you have to go developer tab and visual basic here it will click on project explorer and after that it will click on user form one okay and the main code I write on user from on dot initialize event for this I have done few of things I just remarks it this that you may understand is it very easily that is this is for declaration of variable declare of variable and this code is for sorry error over or error fixing okay error fixing and this is for initialize the first variable position that is the first initialized position will be 20 pixel okay and after that these remarks is DICLEA declare ERO that means by this code you can declare or count the ERO 
okay after that i will run a loop and the loop is close here okay so here the remarks will be run a so run a loop sorry loop by e r o w e r o z and what is the task of this loop the first task is to create user from this code is for so i will not write it here i just go to write here this code is for uh, add chck check box dynamically to user a form user form okay and user form and 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 by this it will be the name of the user form okay and a s s i g n assign the c h e k c k check box name that is first check box name will be check box x will be 1 and after that after the round of on a step the check box second check box name will be check box 2 and in this way 1 will be increase the check box name okay and by this line by this line i remarks by this line uh, this line meaning the sheet value will show to the checkbox caption that is sheet value will go to C H E C K check box control or check box object. Okay, and this is if you send data to your check box, then you have to declare the check box own properties that means own physical condition its first physical condition will be width height and width and height okay so i declare here chck check box check box own own visibility 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 status okay visibility status that means when you see the checkbox what will be its your height and what will be its your width and on the same way what will be the position from a start so this is three of that that means on first checkbox one the width will be seven, uh, 70 height will be 18 and left will be 18 and on the same way in every checkbox height width and left will be same but for the top that means the position from the top it will be increased by 20 because if you do not increase its top position it will be replaced by on another and you will just see the last checkbox visit last checkbox okay so for that i think that there is no need to uh, remarks anything i just understand you in this way the loop will be
count and it will go to another loop so i just try to understand you that here i think uh, here i done few of things number one declare a variable this is my declaring variable after that counting error after that this is the checkbox first checkbox top position and the first checkbox top position will be 20 and after completing on round it will be go to here and on the second checkbox that position will be 40 on the same way the next checkbox position will be increasing by 20 that means 60 okay and by this you will count euro why euro is needed here euro is needed here because i want to pass the value from my checkbox control and uh, e for this i have to count the uh, end of row position and, and now the end of row position will be 13 okay and after that i will write a loop why my loop is needed because i want to add sorry uh, I do a mistake that is this zero will be Z not this I am very very sorry for that this will be for this what the uh, last zero position will be Z column okay and by this code I am trying to understand you Z column end of row position okay and by this uh, you will create a loop and this loop this code a checkbox will be create and here the checkbox name is mentioned okay and after that I pass the sheet value to our checkbox control so this is the code of dynamically present of checkbox for your good understanding I am trying to remark here so please read or write it very carefully and thank you for watching this video tutorial thank you